At the beginning of the movie, we see Maya and Dinny working as tollbooth collectors in Jakarta. Maya tells Dinny that a man has been stalking her for weeks and drives through this toll two or three times a night. Only then the man comes there again causing Maya to get panic. She then notices that he has stopped his car at some distance and is walking towards her post. Dinny calls the office for help and asks her to close doors and windows. But that man starts banging the windows of her post. Maya tells him that security guards are coming. But he asks her if her name is Rahayu and if she is from a village called Hardasari. He then leaves there, grabs a weapon from his car. Seeing that Maya gets terrified and tries to run away from there. But she falls and the man attacks her and makes a cut on her thigh. Now before he could kill her, the police reaches there and shoot him. We then see Maya and Dinny have started a clothing business but their work is not going well. Maya tells her that she found a photo in her late aunt's stuff, and she thinks it is her parents. Her aunt used to call her Rahayu in childhood but she doesn't know why she started calling her Maya. She shows her family house in that photo and says that it's the key to solving their problems. Maya then notices that cut on her thigh, inside which a piece of paper comes out with something written on it. Maya clicks its photo and then Dinny comes there and the paper falls into the commode. Now Maya and Dinny leave for Harjasari village to look for the house in the hope of securing it and selling it as an inheritance. When Dinny goes to pee, the university lecturer talks to Maya and tells her that he knows many languages. Maya shows him that photo and asks what is written in it. He says that it's a spell so that the carrot won't be bothered by evil spirit. But this was made by an evil person. Then Dinny comes back and that man sits behind. After some time, Maya sees three girls outside, but she ignores them. But when she sees them again, she gets terrified and tells Dinny about those girls. But she does not believe her. Finally, in the morning, the bus drops them outside the village. And from there, they take a horse cart to the village. They ask the coachman about the village, to which he says he only knew about it because he recently took their village elder Saptati home. He is a puppet master and is quite well known. On reaching the village, they ask coachman to drop them at Saptati's house. Now on the way, they see Maya's house and get surprised to see that it's huge. Maya asks Coachman about the house, to which he says he doesn't know. He then drops them at Saptati's house and gives them his business card, after which he leaves there. Then they start discussing what they will talk to Saptati and only then does Saptati's mother Miss Nee come out of the house. Dinny tells her they are looking for Saptati, to which Miss Nee says he is not at home and asks them to come back tomorrow morning. They then go to see Maya's house where Dinny asks her how old was she when she moved to the city, to which she says her aunt told her when she was five years old. This means this house has been empty for 20 years. Dinny lights an old lamp lying in the house and goes to find the washroom, while Maya finds some old photos in a drawer. Maya is looking at those photos when a woman starts walking towards her, but it turns out to be Dinny, who says that this house is huge and they will get a lot of money by selling it. Maya says that she is puzzled because she is not in any of these photos. Only then do they hear some voices from outside and they see that someone died in the village. They then go to the village cemetery to find the graves of Maya's parents. And after searching for some time, they finally find them. Maya sits there and prays for the peace of her parents' souls. And when they are about to go back, Dinny notices that there are many graves of children there. Now in the night, Maya wakes up hearing some noise and out of fear. She tries to wake up Dinny, but she does not wake up. Maya comes out to check when she hears that sound again, and while she is following that sound, she suddenly sees someone outside the window. When she checks outside the window, she sees three girls standing outside the door. But when she goes to the door, she finds no one there, and only then she hears someone screaming. Here in a village house, we see a woman giving birth to a child, whom Saptati takes inside and kills by drowning in water. The next morning Maya and Dinny see that someone again died and they start following the villagers. They see that the villagers are burying a child, and only then do the villagers see them, seeing that they both start leaving. But they ask them to stop. Zaptati comes to them and says he heard they came to his house to see him, to which Maya says they want to write a book on Wayne, and Zaptati asks them to come to his house if they want to talk. After this, Dinny goes home to take shower, and Maya says she will find something to eat. She gets the food packed from a place and asks Ratty if she knows anything about that big abandoned house. Ratty tells her that a family used to live there when she was a child. And her grandma from behind says that devils used to live there and left a horrendous disease. Here two villagers come to their house and tell Dinny that staying in this house is not allowed. 
This house belongs to a girl and Saptati has the documents of the house. He has been waiting for the girl to claim it so he can give back all of the documents. Dini asks if the girl's name is Rahu. Because she is Rahu. Hearing this, they tell her that Saptati is about to go to another village for three days. So if she can meet him now, he can give her the documents. Dini agrees to meet him now. And the man says that Saptati is at a villager's house nearby. And they will take her there. Now Dini starts doubting them. So she says that she is going back. But they stop her. And when Dini sees that their plan is to kill her, she tries to run away from them. But after going some distance, she falls and breaks her leg, and they knock her unconscious. Here Maya comes home with food and finds that Dini is not at home. She tries to call her but her number is not reachable. We then see her tied upside down at a place, and she begs them to let her go. Then Saptati comes there and Dini asks him to forgive her if she has done any mistake. Miss Nee then comes there and slits Dini's throat, and tells him that there are two women who are headed into labor soon. If they hurry, they might be able to save their babies. While looking for Dinny, Maya reaches Saptati's house and tells him she is looking for her friend. Saptati says he will ask someone to look for her and offers to wait for her here if she wants. But she thanks him for the help and says she have to look for her friend. Later, we see Miss Nee hanging Dinny's skin on a rope to dry. Now that night Saptati performs a puppet show in front of the villagers and we see that his new puppets were made of Dinny's skin. Meyer also comes to the show to ask Saptati about her missing friend, to which the man says they have looked for her everywhere but they are not able to find her. Now Meyer is very upset and is trying to call Dinny when a girl asks her to come and see a woman going into labor. The woman gives birth to a skinless child and they hand over that child to Saptati, and Maya from outside the house gets shocked to see him drowning that kid. Suddenly Maya gets unbalanced, and when the villagers come out to check, Raddy is there. She says she wants to see the child, but they ask her to go home. Raddy then asks Maya to come with her and says that she is not like others. She brings her to her house and tells her that this whole village is cursed and there haven't been any children in this village in 20 years. There was once a very rich man who used to live in that village with his family in that big abandoned house. They had many servants, and one of them was Saptata's mother. He had a son named Don Alonso, and that rich man died. Don Alonso inherited all the wealth. He was a brilliant puppet master and was so good at making the puppets too. Then there was Shinta, the most beautiful woman in the village, and Don Alonso succeeded in marrying her. Unfortunately, after three years of marriage, they could not bear a child. Finally, after five years of trying, Shinta got pregnant, but the baby was born without skin. Since then, Don Alonso refused to mingle with the villagers, and not long after that, three girls went missing from the village. One day, the villagers saw Don Alonso's baby for the first time, and she looked healthy and beautiful. It was only then that the village learned the baby was named Rahu. A rumor started to spread that Rahu's father had something to do with the three missing girls, but no one dared to confront him. Until one night, Saptati said Don Alonso had been practicing black magic, making a pact with the devil to protect his daughter. Then he went mad and after killing his team and wife, he killed himself. It was said that a loyal servant took his daughter away to the city, and the village has been cursed ever since that day. Every baby has been born without skin. Saptati said, in order to lift the curse, Rahu has to be skinned, and her skin has to be made into leather puppets. Here Saptati and the villagers were thinking about what they missed, and only then Miss Nee come out and tells them that they got the wrong girl. They then gather all the villagers and tell them the women they have been looking for is here in this village and ask them to find her. Ratty goes to get some food for Maya, and during this, Maya sees the photo of the same man who came to kill her in Jakarta. She asks Ratty who is this, to which she says he is her husband. He went to the city three months ago to look for a cure, and then she reveals that she is pregnant. Her great-grandmother is a good shaman and she told her if someone made a pact with the devil and a curse is born. It can never be reversed, it will only transform into another curse. That's why she doesn't believe in killing her, as it will not lift the curse. Only then someone knocks on the door and she asks Maya to hide under the table. Two villagers enter the house and ask her about Rahu, and also tell her that Saptati kills the other girl and turned her skin into leather puppets thinking of her Rahu. Raddy asks them to leave her house, but the man starts misbehaving with her, on which Raddy puts a knife to her neck and says that she will kill herself and her ghost will haunt him for the rest of his life, causing them to flee. After this, Raddy brings her out from under the table and says she is sorry about her friend. 
She then asks her if she has a phone, and then calls Nino to bring the police to the village. Now when Raddy is taking her to that police officer, on the way Maya tells her that she had met her husband and he tried to kill her. But he was shot by the policeman and died. Raddy gets deeply saddened to know this and Maya apologizes to her. And only then do Nano and that police officer also reach there. Maya sees that the police officer is also from this village and he tells Nano that their village is safe and the villagers are friendly. He then asks for his phone. But when he argues, he shoots him dead. He then calls on Maya's number but she throws the phone away. And they all run to that side to catch her. Now hiding from all of them, Maya reaches the road and stops a car. She asks the man for help saying that people are chasing her to rape her. The man asks her to get in the car and then he drives away. But then the man is haunted by a ghost who to skin himself. And the man crashes the car into a tree, causing Maya to fall out of the car. Then again she sees those three girls, out of which one girl comes to her and shows her a vision. Now here Maya comes to know that actually Saptati and Shinta loved each other. But Shinta married Donalungso because he was rich. But when she did not have a child from Don Alonso for three years, she went back to Saptati for the child. But Saptati's mother caught her and plucked some of her hair. And then she plucked some of Saptati's hair as well. After this, she did black magic so that Saptati forgets everything and the unborn shall perish. Then after a few days, when Shinda met Saptati again, he did not recognize her at all. Don Alonso thought that the child was his, and when she was born without skin, he resorted to black magic and kidnapped three girls from the village and killed them, after which he made leather puppets of their skin and performed a ritual, by which Rahu was completely cured. But then when Rahu started to be haunted by the spirits of those three girls, he made an amulet and hid it in Rahu's thigh, so that those spirits could not trouble her. But one day Saptati got him attacked and sat in his place, and he killed all the people of his team and Shinta as well, after which he also killed Don Alonso and threw him there. The girls ask her to bury their skin there with their bones and the curse will be gone. Raddy then wakes her up and takes her away from there. On the way, Maya says she wants to see the cursed child who was allowed to live. Raddy takes her there, but seeing the condition of that boy, Maya runs away from there. They then go to Saptati's house and Maya takes out a box from his Almora. Raddy asks her what is that, to which she says the skin of the missing girls. After this they go to her house basement, where they dug out the bones of those girls from the ground and keeping them in a box with their skin, they bury them back in the ground. Only then Maya sees the spirits of those three girls there which vanish in the air. Now Raddy says that she should leave here, but she says she is not going anywhere until she knows that the curse is gone. Only then Miss Nee comes there and says that she used to live in this house, and this is also where she gave birth to Saptati. Maya asks Raddy to go to the woman who is in labor. Miss Nee then reveals that Saptati was Don Alonso half-brother, Maya says this is all her fault and she started this curse. To which Miss Nee says she is a mistake that she needs to erase. Then all the villagers also reach there. And when Maya tries to fight, they knock her unconscious. We then see Maya tied up for sacrifice. And she begs for her life. But Saptati says they have to do this. Maya tells him that the curse is gone. The spirits of the three little girls came to her. And they asked her to bury the puppets that were made from their skin in the same location where their bones were buried. She has done everything that they ask her to do. She then reveals that she is actually his and Shinta's daughter, and Saptati gets shocked to hear this. She also tells him about the spell that Miss Nee had put on him to forget everything. Saptati asks his mother if this is all true, to which she puts a knife on her throat and says it's her or his mother. Now Saptati is about to kill Maya, but only then Raddy tells that the baby is born healthy. And when Miss Nee moves to flay Maya, the distraught and ashamed Saptati grabs her hand and uses it to slit his throat instead. Horrified, Miss Nee slits her own throat to join her son. Raddy then frees Maya and asks her to leave, and Maya escapes the village. One year later, a villager suffers a violent miscarriage as it is shown that Miss Nee's ghost has extracted the fetus and devoured it. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon never to miss new video updates. Thanks for watching.